guys and welcome back to another review. So this is something I've been meaning to review for months and then never got around to and honestly for the longest time hadn't even gotten around to using. <laughs> uh, but today we are going to be reviewing the Dr. Jarts Cicapair Derma Green Solution. It's tiger grass color correcting treatment. It neutralizes redness and protects skin, improves skin appearance to be vibrant, and is broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. You apply a moderate amount after a moisturizer. The formula will change from green to beige to help conceal the look of redness to even out the skin tone. Now, I looked up what this stuff's worth. They have two sizes on the Dr. Jart site. There's a half an ounce size. And that one is 18 bucks, and there's a 1.7 ounce size, which is 52 bucks. So, um, even my little sample apparently be worth some money. <laughs> so, it's definitely a greenish color, but that makes sense, because in color correction, green neutralizes red. And it does have a bit of a scent. It's kind of like a medicinal slightly greenish scent, for lack of a better way of wording it. Now, I'm just doing it on the end of my nose where I keep breaking out, so I only need a teeny little bit, that's what I got from the cap. So, I'm gonna go in, dab, 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 and boy, for where I need it, you really, really smell it. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Blend, blend, blend. And we wait. <laughs> and oh my goodness, my fingers are a wreck. <laughs> but I kind of don't want to go wash my hands yet in case I have to cover it with foundation after. Because I've had mixed results with this stuff for the color it fades into. Sometimes it fades into close enough to skin tone all on its own. Other days, it very much needs the foundation. So, it's already starting to fade to a more beigey color. But let's, uh, off the nostril so it doesn't look like I got white walls. Because, uh, yeah, don't need anyone making that accusation. Thanks. Alright, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Just, it needs some drying time, so... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I think I accidentally blotted it off. Okay, did it with this one, because it's still wet on that one. It's already better than it was. If I were to continue it up a little bit onto my nose, I could probably get away with it without um, foundation at all, actually. I do have apparently a little outbreak there I hadn't even noticed yet, so maybe I will go up the nose. But so far it does not totally match my skin tone. Let me turn on that lamp that I usually have on when I film, so hold on. Just a second. There we go. This will help some. Okay. Boop. All right. So let's take a better look. Ooh. Yeah. Definitely need better blending than that. Holy shit. Okay. All right. There. It's like not even covered. My nose is always redder than the rest of my face, so that's why I'm mostly focusing on the nose and not doing this to my literal entire face. But, um, on the times it has worked without the foundation, um, it's more or less been a pretty close match. On the times that I've needed the foundation over it, it definitely, uh, neutralized it enough to where I could go over it with the foundation. Yeah, I need to do that nostril still. So I need a little bit more on the finger. Just a little. I shouldn't have recapped it yet. Oh, that's more than I meant to get, but uh. Now we can see the difference in color 
of when it's like real wet compared to what it dries down to. this finger that's why I didn't get much <laughs> I was like wait up to the bridge of the nose hmm, let's take a look now what can I get from there That one nostril, my god, yeah, that definitely looks like light walls, that's not okay. Did I, like, maybe make it bleed or something? Like, what the hell? This is... Let's redo that spot. And now the underside is redder again because I accidentally wiped it off. Fucking A. But see, now my nose looks paler than the rest of my face. Herein lies the problem. <laughs> it's like, I could do the cheeks too, but then I'll just be white as a ghost all over my face. So it's like, what do you do? So, <laughs> but, um, just saying, you won't be walking around all super green. It does fade into a beige. Like, that's not a lie. It's kind of trippy how it does that. Because I was really, really skeptical about this stuff when I first got it. And that's why it took me so long to trust using it. Because I was like, there is no way that that's going to fade down into beige. There's just, there's no way. No way in hell that that's going to be a thing that happens. And yet, here we are. Yeah, let's fix that little underside. Nobody make the obvious joke. Just don't do it. <laughs> Sensitive subject. Don't do it. <laughs> Those who are new to this channel, don't worry yourselves with that reference. Those who've been around and know my life, yeah, just don't go there. Not cool. Okay. Mmm, frick. Yeah, like I said, it's a mixed bag of results that you get with it, but it definitely neutralizes enough to go over it, no matter whether it blends into your skin tone or not. But you do have to wait for it to dry 100%, so don't be too hasty and don't use it when you're in a rush, because it's going to take a while. Hate to break it to you. Frick. And this is why, because it just rubs right off when you go over an area you had already done that had been fine. And then it's like, oh wait, now it's not. Some of you would probably say, it's fine, but I'm like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> I look like I have one of those, like, white sunscreens on my nose. That's not okay for me.
Okay, so let's let it dry <laughs> before we do anything else to it. And we'll evaluate how it looks and whether or not it needs foundation over it then. At which point, I'll show you what it looks like to go over it with foundation and how fairly seamless it is. I mean, generally, I don't do foundation most days, but when I need it, I need it. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, so what it does do, it puts you at like a solid factory reset to where if you put foundation on the rest of your face to match, now you've got like a blank canvas to work with to build up on top of. But now you look like a ghost, at least if your foundation's as light as mine. So I'm gonna have to go back in with some blush now and add a little color back in, because otherwise this is just a little too light to look healthy, so... We're gonna add in a little blush. Not a lot. Yeah, something light like that. This isn't a very pigmented one, that's why I'm going so heavy-handed with it, guys. Mm -hmm. But for how pale I looked with like this on, I feel like I should start singing Welcome In from Cabaret. <laughs> I look like the MC for how white my face is. So... I'm probably gonna even do a little bit on the nose for as hard as we just fought to get all that redness out. I think we need a little color back in there. Just a little, just a little to look healthy. Just a little something like that. Maybe even a shump. Shump. Because my nose is naturally a bit pinkish, so it looks odd and off. If there's no color there suddenly. At which point you're wondering why don't you just wash it off? I mean, I suppose I could, but it's more fun to play with makeup. Okay, now I was using the viewfinder like a mirror again, despite this never ending well for me. So let's see in an actual mirror. Let's see, how do we look? Not terrible. It's a little darker on that side. We have to pop it up on the left. Okay. It's okay. I'll play with it. Well, now it's a little too dark, but I'm just playing. Like, we missed a divot right here, which is really effing weird. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but let's try and fix that. Look a little more natural. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a little dusting on the chin. That looks a bit more like me, doesn't it? Yep. I'll even I'll even do a little touch on the edges of the forehead. Just a little do, 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 do. This is like how you're probably supposed to use bronzer and yet I'm here doing it with uh, some blush. Because we're just that smart here on this channel, aren't we? Oh yeah. Anyway. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Just something y'all. Something like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That uh, looks much more correct. Other than this little bridge of the nose area, but honestly, given that's where my glasses sit, if I pop my glasses on it won't matter. Or, I could just blame it on, oh yeah, my glasses reddened me right there. <laughs> One or the other, it works either way. 
I'm trying to Bob Ross this brush clean, but I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, no, not really. Okay. It was worth a shot. But, ain't it? Woo! Holy crap. And of course, while I'm wearing a white robe, good job, stuff. Drop the blush face down on the robe. Thank God this isn't more pigmented than it is, or I'd probably be crying right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, so what are my thoughts on the Sika pair? Well, I think there's definitely a science to using this stuff. And like I said, I've had very mixed results the different times that I've used it. I've had really good results, I've had really bad results. And I've had in-between days where I was like, it's okay, but I think I need to like go in and do some restorative work now to make it look more normal. So, I mean, it's a mixed bag, but I'm sure like if you used it every day, like you would figure out the tips and tricks to using this stuff properly. But does it do well at canceling out redness, its main one job? Yes, it absolutely does that. However, do I really buy their claims of, you could totally get by just using this without foundation over it? No, I don't. I mean, most people don't have as fair a skin tone as I do, and of the ones that do, I don't think they want just one part of their face to look as pale as that. So unless you're using it on your entire face, as foundation, which I, I don't think I would recommend to you. Yeah, nah. Nah. But would I recommend it in general? I think so, as a color corrector only. <laughs> so, I don't know that I would give it a number rating exactly, but just a... Do I think it's an okay product? Yeah. Do I think there might be better color correctors out there? Yeah. <laughs> ones that aren't trying to masquerade as a color corrector and foundation in one. So, anywho, that's it from me for this one. So as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.